So when it comes down to, if you show me a tool that performs well, saves time, and takes up less space, now you've got my attention. I'm Shonder Natsalansi, contributing editor to Woodworkers Journal Magazine. And in this video, I'm going to show you a few tricks for measuring, marking, and cutting parts to accurate length more quickly and precisely. Now, the regular carpenter's tape measure might be great for some projects, but when I'm building a fine piece of furniture or cabinetry, I like to have maximum accuracy, and a hook rule can give me that. As its name implies, it's got this nifty little hook that references to the edge of a material and lets you quickly and very accurately get a precise outside length. You can use the other end of a hook rule to measure the top of the inside of a box or a drawer or a cabinet, but I'll show you an even neater way that allows you to measure not only at the top and bottom edges but in the middle as well. Now I'm going to take these two plain steel rules and I'm just going to overlap them and butt them up on the insides of this drawer box. And you can see I now have six inches and then five and a sixteenth and just a little bit where they overlap giving me a total inside dimension of eleven and a sixteenth plus just a skosh. And I can move these up or down to make sure that the inside surfaces of this box are perfectly parallel to one another. A hook rule is a great tool to use to transfer the dimensions that you've measured to the parts you want to cut. I'm going to use this rule to position a tri-square just about 11 and a sixteenth and a skosh from the end. Now I'm going to use a nice sharp marking knife to put a single super thin line precisely at that dimension and now the parts ready to cut. If you're not crazy about having to remember measurement numbers there's a way that you can mark the length of parts without having to use a ruler. Let's say that I want to cut this board exactly to the width of this box, the outside dimensions. First thing I do is I'd, I'd line up the squared edge of the board with one side of the box using a block here as an alignment tool. Make sure that's perfectly flush. Now I can take my trusty marking knife and I can scribe a thin precise line. There, the part is marked and ready to cut and I didn't have to use a ruler to do it. Now the line we just scribed might be really fine and precise but it also can be very hard to see. So it helps to have a light maybe a flashlight or a desk lamp position raking across the piece so you can see that line and it lights up bright enough so you can line it up perfectly with the sawtooth of the crosscut saw. Beautiful. There's not much you can do if you accidentally cut a part too short, but if it's just a little bit too long, here's a little trick. Slide it up against the side of the blade to deflect it slightly. Then pull the blade back and take your cut. The part will now be just a hair shorter and hopefully will fit just right. 